Stupor Duck is a pretty decent Warner Brothers cartoon. This was released in 1956, directed by Robert McKimson, with a story by Ted Pierce. And we have Mel Blanc voicing Daffy Duck. And I just want to give a mention to the McKimson Associates nod that was written onto one of the buildings. Uh, I didn't know who directed it when I was watching it. I hadn't looked it up or read anything about it at that stage. But I kind of assumed it would have been Robert McKimson. And in this one, Daffy Duck is posing as Superman. Or rather, he is a superhero who slightly, very strongly resembles Superman. And he gets himself into all kinds of situations where he has to try and save the day but he's maybe not the superhero he thinks he is and things don't exactly go to plan. I quite liked it. I'm a, a casual fan of Superman. I'm watching some of the original Fleischer cartoons and I kind of really enjoy those, but I'm not a tremendously big Superman fan. So I wasn't too bothered about the actual concept of this. I was just interested in seeing kind of where the similarities would be and the situations Daffy would get himself into. He does have an alter ego, um, or rather I guess his two alter egos, one of them being the Stupor Duck, and the other one I believe was called Cluck Tent, if I remember rightly, obviously Clark Kent. And I love the outfit he wears when he's at the water cooler, I think he looks very dapper, and obviously his superhero outfit is the classic blue and red with the yellow logo, very iconic. Seeing him fly looks great. I like how that was animated. I thought that was very effective. With regards to the problems he tries to solve or the things he tries to save, they were okay. I wasn't that invested in them. I wasn't bothered how he would get out of certain situations. I didn't think the kind of the, the gritty elements of the narrative were that interesting, but I liked the overarching concept of Daffy being Stupor Duck or Superman. It worked well enough. It's never going to be one of my favourites. There were small things in this, such as McKimson Associates written on the side of the building and the way Daffy looked when he was at the water cooler. Little things that I really particularly enjoyed. But generally, it was an alright cartoon. Pretty decent, but never going to be one of my favourites. It has 7.3 out of 10 on IMDb, which is a pretty great rating. So it seems to be one that a lot of people like. Certainly, I didn't not like it. It just didn't appeal to me as much as a lot of other cartoons with Daffy Duck. If you haven't seen it though, or if you can't remember it, Stupor Duck is still one that I would recommend.